In this video, we'll cover Fibonacci time uh, projections, which is right here. Uh, first thing you'd want to check are your Fibonacci time ratio sets. And this dial bo dialog box shows there are two uh, Fibonacci time techniques, time retracements, and parallel time ratios. The most commonly used ratios are bolded uh, for both techniques, and in this case, they're all checked. And whatever ratios you choose will persist until you change them. The basic uh, technique for using Fibonacci time retracements is to click on two points. As with all the Fibonacci uh, clicks, you want to left click on a high so the display will appear above the bars. Uh, right click on a low and you get the measurements or the measured projections going forward. If you exceed the last data bar then you get a projection of both price and time, which takes into account holidays and weekends. So it's always projecting forward the number of trading days. Now, retracements, in this case, uh, were made from a high-low. This is the measured swing. But retracements can be made from any two points. It can be uh, a high to a high or a low to a low. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind is that you want your second click to be further ahead in time than the first click. So, for example, if you're going to measure from a high to a high, you left click to keep the display data above the bars. Uh, you left click again ahead in time, and your projections will appear on the chart. And you can move these around if uh, it starts to get cluttered. Uh, you can highlight and use the uh, delete key uh, to delete any bars that uh, get in the way. And the best way is to get familiar with the tickers that you trade and see what's worked in the past and continue to use that going forward, keeping notes to see what remains most effective, uh, both as to technique, high-low, high-high, low-low, uh, and which ratios have been effective. These are the mechanics of how to use the Fibonacci uh, time projections uh, parallel. And the basic concept behind the parallel projections is that the first two clicks of the measured swing, we're going to right click on a low, we're going to right click on a low, and the third swing, or the third click, takes the measured swing, uses the proportionality of the ratios you have selected, and projects from that point. And you can place your first two clicks anywhere on the chart. In that case, it was a low to a low. Uh, you can go a high to a high, uh, then an intervening low. You could place them from, say, uh, high to a high and a low that follows the last click. Basically, anywhere else on the chart, the first two take the measured swing, and the third click places the proportionality of the measured swing forward from that point. Or another use is that you can do a uh, measure, say, an upswing, and then place it uh, further down the chart. In this case, we'll left click here. I will right click here, we'll left click, and this is then the measured swing, and we'll place it, say, uh, from uh, one of the most recent bars. And you'll get a time projection uh, that'll go off into the future, again, taking account of trading, or taking account of holidays and weekends, so you get a projection that falls within the 9.30 to 4 o'clock US trading hours. So this probably wouldn't be very accurate for Forex, which trades outside of the 9.30 to 4 uh, p.m. hours, or most foreign uh, stocks, because it's really geared to US markets. And the settings, Fibonacci time ratio sets, 
uh, have all of the ratios you can use with either time retracements or parallel times and the most commonly used are bolded and you just check them off to use them and they'll persist until you change them for this session and uh, for subsequent sessions also. Okay, that's it for Fibonacci uh, time projections.